Hello, hello, hello. Actually, this is where we're gonna go first. Hello, architects. I hope you're all great. Uh, we're here just starting our first live stream with the first looks of Prison Architect 2. I hope you're as excited as we are and we're gonna show you around in the game. Um, you have me here. Hello, uh, hello, hello, actually. Oh, I hear myself as, as well from the street. That's great. But <laughs> we have me here, Michaela, and we also have Rose. Hello there. I'm Rose. Oh, and I'll be the one playing here today. Uh, you might want to... In the game, you have me I'm just going to take over the control a little bit for a second. And from the Mute yourself. <laughs> Mute myself. Mute sides. So I don't hear myself, and that's great. Okay. And you can have the controls back. Yes. Oh, okay. that's better. That's I didn't a need lot to hear better. you twice. You have a lovely voice, <laughs> but yeah, technical difficulties. That's just what we want. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's start off. Um, yes. Do you want to so tell we us have what a, you built? Yes. Yeah, so we have a lovely little starter uh, prison here that I built. The rooms are all empty. If we take a look, we go down the floor. We've got some solitary on the roof. It's very bare bones, which is happy like that. So that's okay. Our cells are a little too empty of physical things, and so are the rest of our rooms. So we're going to outfit our prison, fulfill our contracts over here, and just build, have a good time, and let y'all see the game. So hello to everybody. <laughs> and what room should we start with first? Uh, oh, that's a great question. I think that we should start with, maybe we start from the top with seat on control, as we see on the left side of the screen with the contracts. Um, sure, we'll go build our offices. We have three offices set up over here. Um, let's go with our warden, which of course we're going to give our warden our biggest office. Of course, they need it. <laughs> and I am running here with the um, warden's edition, so I do have a fancy warden's desk for them. That's all you want, really. Yes, we'll unpause. Um, and then they also need a filing cabinet. Of course. Of course. Got to keep all that uh, important stuff saved. All and I would give them, happens. like, a couch or something for people to sit on, mm -hmm. but we don't have those unlocked. Yeah. Maybe we get those later when we can get everything a little bit more fancy. <laughs> yes. So we're building that. And then we're going to hop over to staff, admin, and hire ourselves a warden. We got Ricardo Gilmore. Ooh. Who should be arriving on a bus. No, that's a truck with stuff. Oh, there's, <laughs> his, there's his bus way down there. Coming down the road. Nice. And while that's filling, let's go take a look at our kitchen. So one thing I like here with Prison Architect 2 is the fact that it tells you how many meals an item will help a cook create. It's so like a cooker can do 25 meals. So if you have under 25 inmates, you only need one cooker. Ooh. Uh, well, a fridge is for 50 ingredients. So it's pretty much one fridge for two cookers. And then what, what do we need after that? If, after we build a kitchen, we need staff, right? Yes, but our kitchen's not complete yet. We gotta oh, have someone right. to wash the dishes. Of course. I mean, they could go wash them in an inmate's toilet, except, no, that's not allowed. But <laughs> let's give them a sink. <laughs> could be something uh, that you need to know, you need to use, right? No, and then they also <laughs> like having a prep surface. Because I don't know if you do any cooking, but it's really nice to have somewhere to like spread out everything and actually do your cooking. Yeah, at occasion I do cook, uh, and a prepping station is absolutely something that I do need. <laughs> uh, so that's our basics. And then let's move to our canteen. <laughs> workers are just uh, chilling around. Yes, there, there's more workers than there are jobs to do while they wait for the trucks to arrive. Oh, there goes, there goes a little guy to get something off the truck. I love how the trucks open on the sides. That's just like the smartest way for uh, trucks to have openings. But we have a serving table, which holds 30 servings. So basically one serving table for every cooker is how I tend to go with it. That's 25 uh, meals, meals per cook and then 30? 35. So it's 30 meals per cooker and sorry, 25 meals per cooker and 30 meals per serving table. Nice. And then we can go with our tables. 
we have our big standard tables, which we all know from Prison Architect 1, which hold eight with four, two benches. Or we also have the short tables, which did get added later to Prison Architect 1. And these hold four inmates. So we're probably going to do a little mix, but we'll start off with some big tables. We're going to have a little bit of a roomy place. You want everyone to have some free freedom. <laughs> We only have 10 cells, so seating for 16 is fine at the moment. Um, And they're going to start filling that in very slowly because we are on speed one. But that gives us time to come over here and plan out our holding cell, which holding cells only get used if you have more inmates than you have cells, which we can control that. But it's always just a good idea to have one because maybe you're tearing down a cell because you're going to go build something else or you took away someone's bed because you're going to up upgrade the bed to a bunk bed. And they have nowhere to sleep that night, so they can go stay in the holding cell. It would be very nice to have a holding cell just, just for yes. that occasion. <laughs> it is. It's that little bit of overflow, but all they really need is a toilet and a bench. They're not going to have the best sleep that night. Probably not, but... I mean, if you have a toilet and a bench, you will probably get by, right? <laughs> so I did build two showers here just for funsies because I wanted to make them a bit of public toilets. So when the inmates are, you know, out and about in free time, they can easily just go to the bathroom without having to walk all the way back to their cell. Very kind. On them. So a shower really only needs shower heads, but I put the toilets in for convenience. And as we um, see as Rose is building here, we also see on the left with the food, uh, food for thought, we see the canteen and the kitchen are already filled in with the check marks. Uh, but we're yes. missing the cooks, but we don't have any inmates. So do our we'll workers deserve lunch? I don't know. <laughs> our we're... workers just live off of air and good vibes. Just like we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we're working on the holding in the shower now. And you also see that there's a water notification above our toilet or our sink over here. And then there's the power notifications. This is just to let you know, hey, we're not connected. And I do think they change in size nicely as you scroll in or out. Makes it easy to see the missing. We do have our water station and power station over here. And we're which... also looking at the worker bed of fortune right now. <laughs> Getting the shower head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's working. Yeah. And they're all carrying their little boxes. Hard at work. All in a day's work. Uh, but we'll do the plumbing afterwards once we get our cells in because we're going to need toilets in our cells. So just like in Prison Architect 1, the basics of every that every cell needs is a bed and then our lovely metal toilet, which has a little sink in the top, which in 3D is a lot more visible than it was in 2D. Um, and we could go for the really terrible mattress here, which slightly satisfies comfort need. But we're going to go with the regular bed, which just satisfies comfort need. I think that's fair. Because our inmates are human. And they deserve a place off the floor to sleep. I agree. Totally agree. At least in their regular cells. We may make a different decision for solitary <laughs> if we decide to give them oh, beds. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I feel like these beds look very comfortable. Like, oh, you should see the luxury metal. beds that we can unlock later. Uh, yeah. Maybe we will look at those later as well. Depending on how much, how far we get today. Uh, or we so, can see them next time. Uh, one big difference that you may notice if you've played a lot of Prison Arctic 1 is that the cells are bigger. So in Prison Arctic 1, I don't know if you know Michaela, the basic cell size is a 2 by 3 oh. And with um, the removal of room requirement sizes, you could make it a 1 by 3 Ooh. That's, uh, that's it, it's very cramped. Very cramped. <laughs> uh, but here... The basic room size is a three by four because the beds are bigger. They take up a two by three. So if, um, and then the toilet is a one by one. 
And also because they are 3D, they do need to be able to reach everything. So if I wanted to change the, if I got rid of room requirements, I could make the cell a three by three here by putting like the bed like this so they can still reach it. You see the little, um, little meeple icons next to the bed. That means an inmate has to be able to reach one of those to be able to get in the bed. And that's great since you have them around the bed. You see clearly where it is that you can actually put yes. it down to actually have inmates being able to get there. Correct. So there's no confusion about, oh, can they reach this? Can they not reach this? So like if we want to go put bleachers in our yard, which the yard isn't required to have anything. It can be completely empty if you want. But if you want to put some bleachers in, you can see that they can access it from a pretty wide area around. So I could stack my bleacher like this and they could still reach it. And that's fantastic. It's a great view of the fence. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if the fence wasn't there, they could see the water, all the pretty lakes. Yeah. <laughs> but I deliberately denied them that. So we're just going to give them a fence or a fence, a bleacher to look at the rest of the yard. And we're going to come on to enrichment here, which is a whole other tab because as you see, these are reorganized. Essentials are chairs, beds showers, benches, desks, things that are considered essential for the running of a prison. Everything here well, looks enriched. locked, though. So what is it that we yes. need to do in order to get all of these things? I'll get to that in just a moment. <laughs> uh, and then we have enrichment here, which satisfies recreation need, exercise. There's other things that give freedom um, like or reform, reading, having books. People feel get reformed from reading books. But all we have access to right now is exercise bars. So let's give them some exercise bars to play with. Nice. And then we can give them some gym mats to do some yoga. And here, they can do their yoga right in front of the bleachers and get stared at. <laughs> front row seats. That's what everyone <laughs> wants. <laughs> um, and you notice our staff are, like, sitting around. Yeah. They are either idle Actually, these guys are all idle. They don't have anything to do at the moment because there's <laughs> more workers than jobs. Mm. But this is also how they'll sit when they've got low energy and they're taking a break and you don't have a staff room. And that is something we're going to build later as well. Because the staff yes. needs a break room, of course. <laughs> but we have to unlock that. Because until then, eh, our staff can just survive sitting in the yard with the inmates. It's fine. It's fine. Absolutely. Uh, but as to your talking about how do we unlock more items, we're going to hop over here. We're going to go and hire ourselves a cook under staff, workforce, hire one cook. And now that contract is completed. So if we go to administration here, we nice. see our bureaucracy, which this was covered in the Geek Coverage tutorial this week. But we have our main ones here, which we have done things like build an office and hire a warden. We get XP and we get cash. And plus we're going to get a new milestone contract here. So if we look here right now, there's no milestones. There's no repeatable contracts. Um, but if we unlock these, now we have a milestone. Woo! So we get to 30 staff. We're going to get 500 XP and 1K. Uh, also, new milestone contract would be the next level. So just repeating and doing missions will grant you XP to mm -hmm. yes. get more stuff. And it's an extra way to get cash in. Like, consider it as if uh, in real life, like, you are completing a grant and the government's giving you bonus money for doing what they asked you to do, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's our food for thought that we did. And then we have power and water because we have power station and water pumping station. So we have two more mate ones here. Intake five inmates and unlock any bureaucracy upgrade. Um, nice. We have no repeatables and we just have our one milestone here. But if we go here to bureaucracy, we can unlock and we can see down here in the bottom left that we have two points. Ooh. And our next one is only 51 XP away. So as soon as we unlock one of these, we're going to finish this contract and get another 200 xp and get a whole nother point to unlock something else in the bureaucracy fantastic so what do we want to um, unlock what is uh 
What do you feel is the best thing to use? Your first. So in terms of meta, as far as the beta testers and myself have discovered, is you want to go big business first and you want to grab cooking the books. Because (laughs) you're going to be completing a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of contracts early on. And this will give you more money from the contracts. Which gives you more power, more building power, and it just helps you get the ball rolling faster. More power is great. That's all we want. <laughs> After that, I kind of like security because if you get down to, sorry, yeah, intelligence right here, which has a metal detector. Metal detectors unlock a repeatable. So every, I think it's 25 times an inmate walks through a metal detector you finish a repeatable and get more xp well that's a great tip that and that's a very easy one you could just put a metal detector on the entrance to the yard a metal detector at the entrance to the canteen and you've got extra xp coming in nice that's um, i'm gonna put that down in my book for when i'm playing <laughs> <laughs> i need all the tips i can get <laughs> uh but there's also other choices like let's say you really care that your staff are sitting in the yard um you may want to rush for staff breaks so they can actually have a personal break room that the inmates don't go to Mm. uh yeah so but we're gonna go i think big business and cooking the books first off nice yeah um and then if we hop back over here to contracts main claim bureaucracy tendencies we go back we have a whole nother point Woo! Uh, so if we were still going to build our prison, like we hadn't finished building it yet, we would want to grab cheap materials and we will be grabbing that. But I think at this point, we're going to go ahead and grab security. Sounds good. And with that, we're also getting the security chief, right? Yes. Um, and if you notice by unlocking security and unlocking, um, big business, we now have two more here that want us to build an office, hire an accountant, and then let the accountant claim their office and then locks new trees. So we're going to come over here to our two empty offices I and see fill them up. questions as well in the chat. Someone's been asking how high can we build? Uh, so currently we can only build on two floors. The ground floor and the first floor, which as an American, that still confuses me to Amer- <laughs> uh, fellow Americans. It's first and second floor. But I, I know the rest of the world does it differently. So, and that is also, now until when? I get to that. That is under <laughs> the bureaucracy tree. But we also do have a rooftop access right now. So you can put stuff on this rooftop and your inmates will interact with it. You can actually even build fences on the second rooftop so see i can just build a fence up here but i cannot build actual building up there but we can so you could put a yard on the top and we could add more after we've unlocked it in the bureaucracy but right now we can only build the two floors yes so bureaucracy it's here under infrastructure high-rise permit which lets you build four floors plus the roof um and if we want to take a look You can see this is our building area here and then all the extra land we can purchase. This is one of the smaller maps. If you watch the short that I created showing off the different maps, but I do like how it's unique in the fact that the starting plot is very long and narrow along the road like this, which road access is still important, but there's a wide variety. There's much bigger maps than this. Much bigger. (laughs) Uh, but let's go back over also, here. Also, in making maps, you can decide if you want more or less trees, or if you want more or less lakes as well. If you want to build your own dream pool prison. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and people asking about performance in chat. I'm actually playing this game through Parsec. If you don't know what Parsec is, I am not in Stockholm, so I am across the world playing this game, which is then being streamed to you from Stockholm. Yeah. If, if that tells you anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next up, though, we do need to fill up our offices here. 
we're going to put an office desk instead of a warden desk, which if you notice one thing, the office desk has a computer on it. And so it actually needs power. A warden's desk does not. Oh, I didn't actually notice that before. That's, mm -hmm. that's something. Else. Um, so they got teeny tiny little offices. Actually, I'm going to do it a little differently. Uh, they're going to be like this. My doors are right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So not sitting so. In, in front of it directly. <laughs> No, they don't they don't get that privilege. Only the warden does. Yeah. But they get to easily access their filing cabinet. Nice. Um, and while we're doing that, I'm going to go and drop lights everywhere. We have two start types of lights to begin with. We have ceiling lights, which are these round little guys. Uh perfect for small spaces. Um, they also kind of give off interrogation vibes. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we have our longer strip lights, which we all know we all look absolutely wonderful under those lights. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's the best lighting. Uh, we're going to toss some lights in here for. I feel like it's always at guards. dentists that you have those lights as well. Yes. Never not been at a dentist office without those lights. But <laughs> well, part of it is they need to be very bright at the dentist. Yeah. Um, let's now you can. Our Live out your dreams of the fluorescent light. <laughs> Prison architect, too. We, we also do have the ground lights. And that is one thing. I I know personally in Prison Architect 1, I hated auto lights and always turned it off and got annoyed at myself when I forgot to turn it off. Um, there are no auto lights in here. Whether that makes you happy or not happy, it is a fact. Uh, but you do have two light choices to begin with, and you also have the handy-dandy little ground lights, which we're going to place right there. Showing where they enter. <laughs> yes. In case anyone uh. got confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, we're going to run power real fast. So we have our utilities. You'll notice there's one extra thing that's not unlocked yet, small pipes, and then fuse boxes. But we're going to start with electricity. We're going to grab our cables. It's very much like Prison Architect 1 in how it works. Now you see they changed color. They're yellow. They're connected. Well, they'll be connected when this is finished. They go from orange to yellow. It makes it very easy. We're not going to run under the stairs, though, because they can't actually go under the stairs. <laughs> that is something to remember now with 3D. Like... If under the stairs is not accessible, do not try to build something under that because they might be able to reach it, but probably not. Probably. Like yesterday when we set everything up, um, we had four workers stuck underneath the, the stairs. Yes, I, <laughs> yes, I built the stairs and then I built the fence right here and they locked themselves inside. And that's great. <laughs> and then I destroyed the fence to let them out. And then I told them to build the fence again and one of them locked himself inside. But this is where the new doors are handy because they will walk through uncompleted doors. So I placed the door down. They walked through it. Um, one thing also is you notice outdoor items, outdoor lights do need electricity now. So oh, was that not the case in, the, in Prison Architect? Nope, they just magically worked. Ooh, love some magic. Yes. Boop. All right. So we are now covered down below. And now you're wondering probably how do we get our electricity upstairs? I do, actually. How do we do it? <laughs> um, we click our cable column here, which if you build it out here, it'll actually build like a special column. It creates an item. But I typically find it easier to build it in a wall that's already there unless I want a special col column to be built. Yeah, that was something that I wasn't prepared for the first time I played the game. Uh, and I just had random columns standing everywhere. And <laughs> I was so confused of what it was uh, until I realized that, oh, it's the cable management. <laughs> uh, and then just to finish getting it up, now that it's up upstairs, you build it as if that's the start of the power plant. Um, so I just popped upstairs. I placed my cable there and go off of it on either direction. Nice. To fill out my cells. Uh, should we put lights in solitary? Maybe we should. <laughs> I feel like that would be nice. If I was put in solitary, at least I would want some lights. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe I just wanted it to be dark at all times. 
to be like it is in Sweden during winter. Um, <laughs> I think actually lights would be nice. <laughs> if oh. I can't talk to anyone else, a light would be very nice. We'll put it right in front of the door. Yes. Make it nice and visible. There you go. So they're going to work on that. And we're going to go run our water pipes, which work basically the same way. And I know there have been some complaints about the fact that we don't have that you don't actually have to hook up pipes directly to items and frankly my own personal view of it is the fact that these pipes are the ones that we see and there's still little teeny tiny pipes that are just not shown in game because it's it's not a pipe building game it's a prison building game <laughs> and so there are technically little pipes connecting the sink to the big pipe. Uh, but again, that's that's just my view on it. You could have an entirely different one. <laughs> I thought it makes se made sense to have an yes. AOE with the water. Um, but yes. then again, and then I... you see with the one issue with the pipes is these pipes make it very easy for digging. Ooh. Um, which can be problematic. And then to go up, we do the same thing, the pipe column. You really don't want to place it in a doorway, though you can. It'll just delete the door. <laughs> Done that before, yes. Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. I don't even need to go that far. There we go. And, and I think as now, everything. we also see that the droplets are still there, but that doesn't mean that it's not working. It means that the pipes are not connected, correct? Yes, correct. And if you want to go over here to info views, you can easily see just power and water and what they've built, what they haven't built yet. They're working on it. Go, little workers, go. Go. Um, Maddie <laughs> called them Steves. Ooh. They call them Steves. They're all Steve. Except they do actually look different now. Um, if we go take a look at some of them. Hello. Oh, you, you, you're you bald. You lost your hat. Where'd your hat go? <laughs> That's not safety. We need safety on this. <laughs> That's not OSHA compliance. Uh-oh. <laughs> I do uh, like it yeah. how it's looking like they're just hammering on the grass. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> the fluffy, fluffy grass. Yes. The grass is, it looks like piping on cupcakes, and it makes me a little bit hungry <laughs> every time I look at it. <laughs> uh, well, it is lunchtime for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit after lunchtime, so I should probably be full, but <laughs> this grass just looks tasty. <laughs> it's very fluffy. It is very fluffy. Uh, but we also notice, I mean, we have our notifications up here. 28 objects require water. 11 objects require power. A canteen has no kitchen. There are a uh, few issues. Our kitchen is not complete because it doesn't have water. Ah. But if we go here, we can make sure it's connected. It should be auto-connected. But I believe because the water wasn't connected yet. Ah. Um, but we also have this issue of a room is not secure. And if we come over here and click on our security, we have a lot of not secure. We have one room that is secure. Yes. <laughs> and that's because the bard doors are automatically locked the regular doors which i've used a lot of when the fence gates are not so we're gonna have to go through and click on them all and fix that yes oh, yep and that's pretty easy uh, we just click requires key um it's still not secure though because this side doesn't require a key yet uh-huh there we go now it's all secure the offices we can leave this... as they are, right? <laughs> we don't want True. them to actually need keys there. It's just um, admin we people. Do. <laughs> yes, the admins can have their freedom over there. But we're going to lock these gates because we really don't need inmates. Oh, I did not mean to double click on the door. There we go. If you double click, it will tell you to let you copy and build it somewhere else. But you see there are other options. I can look at the door. I can tell them to keep it open, uh, require the key, which we're doing, store it, sell it, move it, or buy more of them. 
So lots of options. And you can lock or unlock any door. So if I really wanted to even, I could come over here to our barred door and say it doesn't need a key. But then our holding cell wouldn't work. So It would just be a uh, fun game of chance. Will they stay in yes. there or not? <laughs> probably not. Yeah, probably not. If I had the chance to leave a room someone wanted to keep me in, I'd probably just try to get out. <laughs> True. And we're just going to speed up a little bit and let them... Uh finish their pipe laying so we can actually intake some inmates, which it's 7 a.m. I am say they're going to be finished with their stuff real quick. So we're going to come over here to intake. Ooh. Uh, actually, no, first. Hold on. Managements. Permissions. We're going to click staff only. Ooh. We don't want staff coming up here or through our airlock. Or we don't want inmates coming through our airlocks. We only want the staff. Oh, that's staff only. And then this is automatically staff only, which I don't really need to set that as. Uh, and then up here. But you notice we have this like handy dandy overlook of our yard. Ooh. We would put a patrol down. We don't have them yet. But when we do, we're going to put a patrol along here so our guards can watch from up above. Nice. Which is they can watch the, the cool yoga. Features. <laughs> yoga <laughs> happening in real life <laughs> at real time uh we're gonna intake eight inmates oh we're Should taking we a mix media? yes we're gonna take some oh. in, in an hour at 9 a.m yeah let's take let's take a mix i think that sounds fun see what happens all right we'll do six and two the classic um and we can tell them to repeat it and, but with overfill off, it means they'll only repeat it as long as we have empty cells. And it tells us eight inmates will make three and a half K. Nice. Save changes. See, now they're arriving in 54 minutes. So you, you guys better uh, hurry and lay all that pipe and, <laughs> and wires. And the lights. The lights are the yes. <laughs> most important part. <laughs> are you sure? I'm pretty sure the toilets are the most important part. No, nah, I'd say the um, lights are the most important part. <laughs> uh, but yes, people asking in chat, I bought uh, the original Prison Architect back in 2015, right after it left uh, Alpha. Oops, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been playing, and I've got over 1K hours in that one. Nice. Um, 15 hours. I mean... I played this game in binges. It, it's it's how it worked for me. For Prison Architect 1. I would go through for like a week or two and play, you know, four, six, ten hours, depending on if I had work or school. Not school at that point, but work. We um, got some inmates. Yeah, we do. They arrived and I didn't even notice because I was talking to chat. <laughs> They're being they, escorted. They look so cute. <laughs> They're like, are we are we sure about this? Are we sure? Are this is like sure? outside. Are you taking us to a cell? It's not indoors. No, he's like, you don't get to stay on the path. <laughs> the path is for people that keep the law. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't even have paths to the cell. Oh. <laughs> and they're heading to the yard. Good for them. Oh, are they... Uh, how's the schedule looking for the inmates? What are they doing right now? That is true we haven't adjusted it they have a lot of yard time uh we're gonna adjust the schedule a bit we're gonna do all of the yoga <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna give them some free time right here in the middle of the day which you see up here this would tell you what programs are available what times which you don't have any yet so there's nothing to look at so what are the different things um, you can have in uh, in your regime and for during your days? What can the inmates do when it goes through So that? you can have cell time where they have to stay locked up in their cell. Um, they can have yard time where they have to stay here in the yard. They have shower time where they have to go take a shower, whether the shower's in their cell or it's in a shower room. Then there's meal time where they go eat, sleep, where they're back in their cell to sleep, and free time. Where they can do whatever they want as long as they're not entering staff areas or areas that are set for a different security level. 
And free time is also for for later if you uh, unlock in the bureaucracy menu uh, lessons, correct? Correct. Nice. So we're until they prove otherwise, we're going to give them a lot of free time and yard time. They're just going to be locked up here at the end of the day before bed. They're having a great time. So they can, they can go to bed early if they want. I love how they're just like, what mischief can I get into? <laughs> Yes. They all look like they're plotting. I saw someone in chat writing yes. that as well. Yes, they all look like they're plotting right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're scoping out the new environment. But if we go hang out over here, you notice they get dropped off an intake. So you can have your inmates dropped off in an entirely different location from all your deliveries now, which is very handy. Um... So, oh, they're all the oh. workers are waiting for. Oh. Her. <laughs> yes, they're waiting for a guard. Here comes a guard. We should probably check. We have what, four guards. Oh, four. Yeah, we have four guards. That's fine. So yeah, we if just you need to go the place doors. our security chief so we can actually like do deployments. Yes, because our offices are complete. So let's hire a security chief and an accountant. Overworked guards. No. <laughs> they love this. They love to be here. <laughs> I will say, though, that having overworked guards is the number one cause I've seen prisons fail in both games. Maybe I should start using oh. staff rooms in my builds. <laughs> well, it's just if you have like 10 guards, 10 guards and you've got eight jobs for them to do. You're probably going to have a lot of the pop-up jobs fall by the wayside, like escorting inmates in and stuff. Um, but if we look here, we finished one of our first milestones, 200k prison value. Way! Nice. So, that's nice. Um, and we have three more unlocks here. So I'm going to grab intelligence. What do we do with that? Uh, so we can search inmates. We can look at contraband risks and such. We can also place the metal detector to help us find any contraband. Ah, that was the metal detector you were talking about. I mm -hmm. thought we just wanted that because we wanted to check all of the plotting inmates. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I think we're also going to go over here for cheap materials because we're at 8 out of 10 in inmates. We're going to need some more cells. Yes. So we're going to go for that. And then what do you think? We should go for some well-being. Yeah. Let us see their needs. Yeah. I see a question. Okay. Why don't workers have keys? Uh, can you do staff doors? So there is staff keys here. So with the staff key policy, you can go here and it's it's in here, which we can't see yet because we haven't unlocked it. And you can choose to have workers have keys or um, chefs have keys. You get to pick who gets keys, who doesn't. Which is actually more helpful i feel and also as great as staff doors are they don't actually stop inmates from trying to go through them <laughs> but yes we had so many uh inmates or oh, there goes a guard <laughs> he's running <laughs> <laughs> so I let all of our workers. he's taking his work very seriously yes he is uh cool We've got those built. We've got cheaper. Oh, we've got ceiling lights just hanging out there. Our inmates are wandering around for free time now. Yes. Yeah. And we can do deployments. So I think we're going to put a guard here. Put a yeah. guard here. And we're always going to have a guard. I don't want to do it up here because this is this whole area they wander through. Yeah. Maybe put so it we'll by, the, just... by the yard, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we'll put one in the yard. Once we can do patrols, it's a little... You have more finesse and control. So what but... What does that do when we put the guards like that? They just go there and sit around, or...? Yes, they wander through there. They'll open doors. They'll watch for troublemakers. So see, we have a guard assigned here, so we won't get these huge pileups of staff. Except nice. They won't have to run so somewhere. far to help out. <laughs> yes. Oh, this one's the one... Oh, they've popped over here to open this door. They will respond. And now they're going back to their area. But 
here's the danger that I talked about not having enough guards is I just assigned three guards. We only have four guards. That means if we had eight inmates show up, only one guard would be able to escort them one at a time to their cells. And that would take a little bit of time. Yes. So we're going to hire a few more guards because we're going to be expanding the, the uh, prison. Nice. Yes. And there is no contraband, which if we want to go look here, we can see our contraband risks. What they can steal here? A spoon, a fork, a knife, a spatula. Spatulas are very nice. Like everyone knows. <laughs> they can steal snacks from the prep surface. Uh, oh. The fridge has snacks. The cooker has snacks. I'm not quite I feel sure. Like a cooker... The tree yeah. has oh. a club. They could steal a club from the tree. I feel it's a little bit dangerous. <laughs> So have trees in your prison at your own um, risk. <laughs> and I think that's it right now for contraband. Yes. At least over there. If we come back over here, our offices, clipboards, magazines, books, keys, mobile phones, booze. Oh, I feel like our admins are taking their job. Yes. Not I, I got to wonder at our admins, <laughs> like on the job, keeping booze in their desk. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, so that's what I do. I keep hitting the escape button to exit and then I end up on the main menu. That's just a habit of me in any game I play. <laughs> uh, yes, so we do have another contract. Higher guards. So we want to set ourselves to medium security, but we only have six inmates. So we really don't want to do that yet. If we yes. do that, then our two... Um, Minimum security inmates won't have room. Uh, we've deployed three guards out of four. We should do another one. Hire a psychologist. And build metal detectors. Scan nice. inmates. And this gets us a repeatable. So we're going to go throw some of our money over here at security. And our first object we can buy is a metal detector. I think the kitchen is a good thing to track. Probably, yes. It's all of those spatulas. We would just mm -hmm. want to find all the spatulas before they get back to, to their cells. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then we'll place another one here. And then since we're doing that, I might actually want to set it so that our inmates have to channel through the shower into the yard to get to their cell. They can't cut through this area anymore. Ooh. So to do that, but we still want to have our uh, guards able to access it. So we're going to build a fence. So you can build a fence straight or you can build it off square easily. It's much easier to build. Uh, in my humble opinion. And we're going to drop our fence gates. And to actually make it so our inmates won't walk through here. Because even if it's locked, they'll go stand there like the workers and wait for someone to unlock it. We're going to have to make it a bit of a um, an airlock, Ooh. like you've seen me do. Do do do. And now, as we build the uh, doors as well, this worker right here will not be stuck. <laughs> no, <of> <laughs> they won't be stuck. So the doors you can walk through, like we see our worker, boop a doop, they can walk through doors when they're not placed. And that's oh, honestly and great, or all of my workers would be stuck at all times. <laughs> we can also see punishments now, by the way. Ooh. Yeah, and let's go through that this. a bit. So with punishments, there's the ones that have already just been set by Double Eleven. You can choose lax. Um, and your guards will reflect this in their actions. You can choose lenience all the way up to extreme where, you know, they murder someone, they're in solitary confinement for four days. When, yes. if you go to Lax, they murder someone, they're in solitary confinement for 12 hours. And I mean. these, this, <laughs> the name of it changes as you choose to do something. So if I say solitary confinement, it's now lenient. If I go for four days, it's extreme. <laughs> for, vandalism. for vandalism. If you, if you just ruin our stuff, we will be mad. <laughs> Yes. 
Um, and then it does warn you if you've done it custom and you choose one. It'll be like, it's going to reset everything you just did. We're like, sure. Yes. We're just going to leave it as balanced. Uh, there is a wide range you can do here. You can also tell them to search the inmate or the cell. So, like, one thing is if you see someone looting, you probably want to search the inmate because they were just looting. I feel like that makes a lot of sense, actually. Or for use of a deadly weapon. <laughs> I saw search someone the inmate ask in the cell. as well, when is the game out? And I see uh, we have our lovely answering <laughs> Eleanor yes. in the chat as well on May 7th. So stay tuned for May 7th. That's quite soon. So we have a question asking, can we save and name custom punishment layouts? There is no option to, but that is a wonderful suggestion. And we do have a suggestions page over on our forum. I'm hoping Eleanor can. Yep, Eleanor just dropped that in chat actually over on Twitch. Nice. Um, and... If you go there and you take a look and see if one of your if your suggestion has already been listed, if so, click the little upvote vet button because it shows us how much interest there is in a suggestion when we pass them on to the dev team. Um, but let's build some more cells. Oh, he just ran down the stairs. He's like, I want my food. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, they're making their way over. But while they're doing that, Let's go build some more cells. So I could go and individually build each cell again, like I just did. But I'm going to clone it. Oh, I can also go in quick build. And place so There are way. a few things that you can do yes. in quick build, but you could also yes. just clone it yourself. If you love your own design more than you love our quick build design, then just go ahead and use that. <laughs> and clones can be very big. There is no limits, which is very nice because I don't know who in chat remembers the original Prison Architect 1 when we had cloning at the beginning of the game. It was limited to the little tiny square. And so you'd have to clone rooms in pieces. Oh, yeah. No more of that. <laughs> clone everything. Uh, so we're going to place it here. Um, and we're going to leave it this way because... This, actually, that does not count as a wall. While okay. our inmates, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on a second. We're going to undo. undo. Don't delete that. Undo <laughs> is beautiful. We're going to tell them to build this first. wall first. So when they delete that wall, there's not a hole <laughs> for our inmates to go running out of. We want our inmates to actually stay? Yes. <laughs> crazy <laughs> um so we're gonna have our workers go build our workers are building a lot of fence and you see our uh, inmates had two hours to eat they're all done now granted the time they take to eat does depend on how far they have to walk to get to their food if you have a massive prison of 700 inmates and only one canteen and they're walking from everywhere to get to it they might need a little more time <laughs> Just a little bit. But now as it's quite small, two hours should yes. be enough? Yes. Two hours is more should. than enough. Most of these were finished in an hour. Uh, you can also do things like if you put your yard right next to your canteen and have yard time right before, then all your inmates are in the yard and then they just have to walk to the canteen. Thinking ahead. I love that. Yes. These are things I'm not thinking about. As someone that <laughs> didn't play Prison Architect 1 uh, and just started trying out the game myself, I need all of these tricks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um. Whoop. He's like <laughs> he was checking the blueprints. Now he's just idle. Excuse me. It's it's looking great. He's just <laughs> having a good time looking into oh, the fence. But there we go. That's finished. Nice. And now, so let's go back here to construction clone. <laughs> let's try this again. Oh, this inmate's being searched. They did uh -oh. something. They must have been caught looting. So there we go. Now we can build all of that. And on the same time, we're going to tell it demolition that bit of wall. So we don't risk our inmates getting trapped inside. 
And if you notice here, we have our pipe going up because it copies utilities. Wow. We just have to connect these utilities to our other ones. Which I know that was a much requested feature. Um, so yeah, we're going to... That's actually great, because I usually also forget <laughs> about water. Uh, and that's also something that you can turn off. If you don't want to think about water or electricity, um, you can actually turn turn that off, that it's always yes. on magically um, in the <laughs> mutators. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is one of the many mutators. There's a number of them. One fair warning, though, that they tell you here is turning on these mutators turns off your ability to get achievements. So if achievements are important to you, uh, choose wisely with your mutators. Yeah, basically. I want all of the achievements, so I, I don't play with mutators. Um, <laughs> I'm an achievement hunter <laughs> myself. Um, but yeah. Yes, same. The waterless I prisoner in Michaela's prison, yes. <laughs> I actually have all the achievements for Prison Architect 1. That took a while. Wow. Yeah. That um, it's, an, it's an achievement to get that in any game, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my goal is for that for Prison Architect 2, though I'm not quite there yet. But playing with mutators is rather useful if you just want to test a design. Um... The maximum number of prisoners. Right now we can have 10, but that's because we have 10 cells. But yes. we're building more, so we can have more. In terms of number of inmates, I haven't hit a limit total. I've gotten up, I think it was 300 something in my largest prison. The one problem I have had is because this game has been still being, it's still being worked on. Like, this build that we're playing on is not the release. And because of that, some of my oldest prisons that were getting kind of large don't work because they're from a year ago. <laughs> because yeah. the game has been changed so much in a year. And that is something we want to just push again. Uh, this may come to change. Like, the, the gameplay that you see right now may change before the game is actually yes. released. So if you have any suggestions, again... Just put them, <laughs> put them in the link. I'm getting Eleanor to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let us go up here. We're going to clone our upper story. And oh, yes, here we go. No deaths plus 50 XP. No fighting Ooh. plus 50 XP. No escapes plus 50 XP. So we're going to clone our upper floor. Drop it right there. And unlike the lower floor, it's not really a security risk. So we're just going to build our walkway over. And we'll probably put another staircase in just to give them more um, ways in and out. But this works. And you notice our cell doors of unfinished cells stays open. There, this is these little quality of life improvements from PA1 to PA2 that just, it just makes things much nicer. Um, so yeah, five cells have no canteen because these five cells here can't reach the canteen because they're outside. Um, which reminds me real quick before we get any inmates, we're going to turn that off because otherwise it's going to try and give us inmates <laughs> to fill these cells, which are not safely secure. And that was also something that you saw on the upper level as well. The little shoes with the crossover that they can't reach mm -hmm. those. That's very useful yeah. as well. Um, I uh, I tend to also build in front of doors that I don't see because I don't move around my camera. I'm getting into this game. I'm I'm starting to get there. I promise. When we're done with this uh, <laughs> streaming series, I'll be as much of a pro as Rose is. Um, <laughs> but all of these. Are we sure? Are <laughs> no, no, definitely not. But I'll try. <laughs> Mm. Um, you see how they get their little step stools out to build things on the second floor the animation and now these rooms well once they connect the walkway to the uh, existing walkway these rooms will be accessible i love the animations of them working on either the roofs or the the walkways across they're just really cute like underneath going up on their <laughs> yeah their little step ladders um oh there goes one of our trucks 
and it is the middle of the night so well apparently <laughs> billy here doesn't care so much about sleeping we can't see because we don't have our psychologist mm. yet but he wants a shower can we see, see why is he why is he in the in here that's his cell it's bedtime no, uh, why is he in prison? Why? Oh, uh, why is he in prison? Why is he here? Billy Brindley is a 70... Wow, he looks pretty good for 74. I'd say so. <laughs> With two children, he's serving time in prison for bribery, blackmail, and dealing. Oh. Yeah. He's accepting loyal, pushover, and tough. <laughs> we don't know connections yet. His record. He's, he has basic education. He served 3% and his chance of parole is low. Granted, we don't even have parole room, so... yeah. So it might be better later. Yes. Or it will be better As he later. served more sentence and had more things. Though, where was our inmate being searched? We have... Was it you? I think, yeah. That's... Um, Yeah, he has unsatisfied needs because he's... Yeah, he is looting. He's in cell confinement, so he's not very happy. He didn't get a chance to go shower and stuff. Mm. Um, Punished. Was punished for looting. Oh, he has a best friend. <gasps> Who's the best friend? Who has an arch enemy, but we can't. <laughs> oh, wow, we this don't... is our enemy. Oh. We don't have any connections unlocked yet. That's we in bureaucracy. A few things to unlock. Which we also need a psychologist to do that. Mm. So once we get our cells up and running, we'll go build an office for our psychologist. Nice. Another thing that we haven't really touched on is uh, the wallpaper and stuff. Because I saw yes. some questions in the Discord previously about, um, well, floors and wallpapers and such. So this warden's wallpaper is part of the warden's edition. It is not uh, the basic edition. That's it's very nice. Very green, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, <laughs> we just have the gray brick concrete the cinder blocks as we call them and that's what most buildings are built out of to standard and then you can cover them in red brick which looks a little nicer we also just have white paint very depressing and that is, is a prison and that is for now until we unlock more we have a few more yes. as you can see down uh below yes there are a few more but we haven't unlocked them no so we're basic <laughs> and then we have floors so basic we have concrete blue carpet and green carpet so we can come give our warden a some completely carpet. green room yes <laughs> and then we give our other guys which we can also um you can choose whether you see walls or not and i can also turn room visibility so i lose the glow or even turn off the words entirely um but yeah it's looking a little better in there very hand. Not so great in these offices. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should give them a window. Maybe. We could give them a window. Uh, so to start off, we have barred windows. But we could also just give them some framed windows. You know what? Let's not be too extravagant. We'll give them one little window in the yes. middle. There you go. Just a touch of freedom. Outside of work. <laughs> uh, and then our warden gets two windows behind him. No window in the front, though, because no, no. one can watch him without him knowing. <laughs> uh, are you guys done with these cells? So I could close this off and bring this inside already, but I wanted them to have the freedom because you see how they're doing stuff through the ground. Uh, Did the uh, electricity get connected? With, That's uh, what they're working on right now. Ah. I'm just too fast. <laughs> oh, but. Uh, oops. Yeah, they're still working on it. Busy bees. Working hard. Oh. Um, I think something. Oh, oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Uh, you can have your door back, and then <laughs> I need to fix the room. There we go. So as you see in that menu, you can actually like just change around the different, um, well, assigned rooms. Maybe you don't want a cell yes. to be a cell anymore. Maybe you want that to be a solitary. Uh, so you can just go in, change that real quick, and then you're done. Correct. 
And you'll notice there's no dormitories because cells are dormitories. If you go to bureaucracy and unlock uh, shared cells, then you can either put two beds in a room, three beds, four beds, or you can put um, like one bunk bed or two bunk beds. The freedom there is a limit yeah. of four inmates per cell. The freedom is going to go down a little bit for the inmates. Then we can't see that right now with the psychologist yes. not being a uh, hired, but uh, they they feel like their freedom is. Not as high as if they would have their own cell, of course. Correct. So maybe they can just um, chill out with their best friend. Maybe that would be. <laughs> that is true. And that's where the connections comes in. It's if you're doing shared cells, you really don't want to put two arch enemies. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the mic. Um, you really don't want to put two arch enemies in the same cell. <laughs> you're going to have problems. What? I would want to be in the same, same cell um, with my so arch enemy. <laughs> and that's where, like, I did have seen people asking, like, well, I like to build large prisons. I don't care so much about the connections and stuff. But if you notice that one inmate or two inmates who are sharing a cell keep having issues and you say you go in and you look and you notice, oh, oh, they're arch enemies. They probably shouldn't be in the same cell. Um, that's Ricardo. Where are inmates? Keep your enemies closer. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but if we go here to, like, Joseph Winston, we can click cell transfer. And you can see which cells are available. Yes. I choose a specific cell. Whoops. Um, I think because... Oh, because they're not shared cells. I'm just being silly here. But if they're <laughs> shared cells, you can see who's in them. But if I click on the cell, there we go. I see our resident is Winston. And so you can easily click on what inmates are in the shared cells, which we'll look at that later because we're going to unlock shared cells. Of course. It's not so important with the single occupancy. Are you guys going to build this fence? Pretty please? Maybe soon. Do we have a... Maybe soon. Oh, we're going to remove the fence on the inside? Yes. Ah. So once they build this fence, we'll remove this one and then we'll put another staircase in to reach the upstairs. Nice. So like right now, these cells are. <laughs> what are you guys doing in here? Just chilling. <laughs> Having a good time. Why I am. They're acting like they're trapped. I am. It says blocked. Well, it's blocked because I can't build there. Ah. <laughs> Maybe they just don't feel like uh, working. This one. Are they... Um, oh, so this one's in I... here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> working on the roof. Uh, they were just all taking a break in there. They finished their work and decided to all sit down on the floor of the cell and take a break. I mean, that's <laughs> the see, best that's, that's... place to be. <laughs> And that is a weirdness that occurs when you don't have uh, a staff room. Is they'll just take a break everywhere. And so you'll be like, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're done. You don't have a place for us to sit. So we'll just take our rest right here. Thank you. It's probably in their union. You've ever been so tired you just sit down? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Can inmates sabotage utilities? Yes. I have watched in a riot as inmates head for the utilities and start banging on them. Um, you don't want that. I no. would guess. <laughs> no. no. Oh, we got our line. And I can tell my voice is better, but it's getting a little bit of a strain. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you uh, don't... it's a lot better than last the last couple of weeks. Well, what was it? Three weeks ago, I had no voice at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I even had someone comment on the short last week going, are you okay? Your voice doesn't sound right. <laughs> it's getting better. I promise. <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, oh, yeah, we are doing okay. Okay, come on. Let's speed up a little bit. Come on, build this fence. Some of you are going to get yourself locked inside, and that's okay. I do love how they pull out the little blueprints and check them. It's very cute. All of the little right. idle animations and all of the animations of the workers. I could just sit and just look. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just fun to go. see expressions of inmates, of, uh, of the guards. It's just very relaxing. If you don't want to do anything else, you can just 
look at all the expressions. <laughs> oh, he tried to make an escape over here, it looks like. So it doesn't say that. How did he get over here? Oh, is that a... He's wearing um, handcuffs. He's, low se he's min minimum oh. security. Ah. They wear the blue. Uh, medium wear yellow. Which their color got changed from PA1 to PA2. Mm. Do, do, do. Yes. So yeah, if you did pre-order... I just saw someone say they pre-ordered the Warden's Edition. If you did pre-order the Warden's Edition... Um, this is the wallpaper in the game. This is the desk. You also get access to new, the new wardens actually do have a, they have different traits. They have something that makes them better, that they're better at, but then also something they're worse at. Oh, hello. The driver's carrying something inside. Oh, they're bringing us laundry. Nice. Because we don't do our own laundry. We ship it out. If I could do that at home, I'd be sad. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're going to go permission staff only to this little area because i would like them to walk around actually you know what no we don't no we don't i i've rethought this um we're gonna go oh we need to put some medium so i did the medium just to fulfill that contract ah. but because we don't actually have a cell block we just have cells to the open air it changed everything to medium <laughs> so our minimum securities couldn't even walk around oh, no. so i just put that back to shared but we're actually going to unpause we're going to demolition this we're going to leave these gates, and I'm going to put a um, metal detector here. So the gates are unlocked, but we can always lock them down in the case of, like, a riot or something. Nice. Um, which is... But we also get another metal detector for them to go to go through. I know and there's you know been a question as well I've seen on the Discord page about the UI. Uh, if it's possible to hide it or not. Um, that's something they're working on? We I know we've had it in some builds, but it hasn't been the highest priority yes. at this point in time. Though it is, if something you really want, put it in the suggestions. That Eleanor is going to put in the chat. Yes. <laughs> Because uh, those do get passed on in our regular reports to the dev team and the others who work behind the scenes. And there we go. I just put some lovely grass down. Flooring is actually free. And it's instant, which you may think is a little odd. But it makes a lot of sense for the fact that when you consider you want to put stuff on the roof, do you really want to have to build stairs and a walkway and everything to get to the roof just to like maybe paint it green? Um, Probably not. <laughs> no. Or the fact that if we had wallpaper is also instant because if you wanted to put wall, if they did have to go and put it up, you'd have to put the walkways around the outside of every building on every floor, put walls up. So there's still it, a um, little bit of magic. Yes, there's a little <laughs> bit of magic going on. There you go. Oop. Put some red brick over there. Oh, this one's not finished because that's where I had the goof. <laughs> um, there we go. Beautiful. Nice. We got green roofs to blend in. <laughs> they won't know that huh. this is a prison because the roofs are green. <laughs> yes, everyone knows exactly. This. It looks like a golf course. <laughs> it's it's a lovely place. Though, I think we have a contract. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Security. Stop the metal. We've scanned nine inmates because they kept avoiding it and <laughs> going through. <laughs> but here's our um, finances. We don't have valuation yet. But I'd say we're, we're doing okay. It's going pretty fine, I, th I think I say. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, you know, you notice we're at zero to seven guards. It means all of our guards are busy. So we probably need a few more guards. Because you right. want at least one or two idle at all times with the smaller prisons. And here As you get see, larger um, prisons, yeah. you want a larger percentage idle. We also see um, the daily income for the prison right now on the bottom there. Uh, for the green, we're still making money, which is perfect. That's what we want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just building everything as we go, getting everything yes. working. Oh, they look so happy. They're having a good and, time. Yeah, well, all those little uh, the little two people with the plus mark means that they're getting their social need up. They're chatting with their buddies here. Um, you notice, though, that we have 16 out of 20 inmates, and we only have 16 seats here. So we're going to have a little bit of an issue tomorrow when we intake some more inmates. Oh, which this should be a 6 to 2 ratio. In 15 hours. Oh, oh see, they just gave a high five. Hey. So let's drop them. We'll do a little short table over here. The private table. <laughs> yes. Uh, with the short benches. Probably could put one more in here. But because they are 3D, though, they don't just walk over the furniture. So you do have to consider leaving walkways and such. They will walk through benches to a degree just for our own sanity. <laughs> um, but And, of course, they're walking through blueprints right now because there's not actually a table there. Yeah. But that is something to consider now when placing your canteen. You want to see him fight? I'm sure they will at some <laughs> point. Oh, Richard here is... We have his happy. arch nemesis. Or who the, had the um, arch nemesis? Uh, oh. He has a best friend. I think this was the guy. Best friend, Bernard. Bernard has Winston as an arch enemy. Let's right. get a... Oh, we do have bureaucracy. So let's grab prisoner connections so we can actually see that. Yes. Though medical practice, honestly, would be what I would say was more important. No, but no, for no. the coolness factor, let's go with prisoner connections. Connections are more important than than health. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I'm gonna go drop an office over here real quick for our um, psychologist. Doo, doo, doo. I oh. also saw someone asking about uh, some fancy stuff oh, for no. The, oh. For the I did the double walls. <laughs> oh no! Delete. I um, love the undo button. Yes, it's very handy. There we go. Um, I saw better. a question <laughs> about um, radios and other um, enrichment stuff, and yes, there is. Yes, currently all we have unlocked is a radio, which, if we want to, we could place it right here for them to listen to while they're in the canteen. We can unlock common rooms later. We could also give them. A radio outside, as long as it has electricity. And there's no weather, so... Oh, there we go. They're doing yoga. And again, we have no break room, so our <laughs> staff are just chilling here on the bleachers. We're having a good time uh, watching watching the yoga, watching the inmates in the yard. Just having a great time. So, for that, we may come up here to our storage. Maybe not our storage. Down here to our deliveries. And give them some, like, benches against the wall to sit on, maybe. Maybe they'll go there instead. Hopefully. Or we have uh, <laughs> oh, he's Richard crazy. here. He's exhausted. He's fallen. <laughs> <laughs> we need break rooms. Yeah, we. I think we do need break rooms. He's looking a little bit oh. tired there. Uh. He's, yeah, he's a little exhausted. And so is Jennifer here. Oh, she is. Yeah, very tired. She is falling asleep on her feet, which if you really don't like them needing a break, there is a mutator for tireless workers so they don't run out of battery. Just working oh, all day, all night. Floor. Yes. Oh, nice. You know what? Let's actually give them like flooring here Ooh. so it looks complete. And as you might notice as well, as you go with the camera on specific places in the game, you will hear different noises as well, depending on where it is. Mm -hmm. Just a little fun, fun thing that you notice when you're playing. Ooh. Yes. 
Um, there we go. Oh, and one thing is, let's say I'm up here on the second floor and I want to build down. If you notice, oh, not with this one. I need to go like structure. There we go. You see, I can access lower floors by clicking the middle mouse button. So I could build something from down below up top, though I won't be able to see inside because it'll still have a roof. Nice. Um, hmm. You don't um, have too much more time we have a little bit more time no. so if there's something that we want to do with wrapping everything up with the build and then we're gonna come uh, into I'm some other tidbits before i'm trying to speed through so we can get this uh, office and at least see connections yes which would be useful did we hire uh, the psychologist not yet because they don't have an office ah. yet their office is pre presently being constructed <laughs> Oh, but then they're going to need some electricity. So. Boop. Nice. There you go. And let's go hire a psychologist. New staff hired. They're arriving. Uh-oh. Yeah, what do you mean insufficient offices? Oh, because their desk isn't <laughs> in there yet. Oh, well. They'll figure it out. By the time they get here on the bus, they'll probably have a da office. Probably. Or they'll Probably. just stand around. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now they're using the benches and deliveries. Oh, nice. That's where they prefer to hang out. Now we just have the guards in here hanging out. That's fine. We can let the guards hang out there. I just didn't want the workers hanging out there. Oh, and uh, there's our accountant <laughs> taking a break with the workers. I thought they just like, yeah, we're chatting. I mean, he just needs to have a relationship with the workers. You know, oh, <laughs> know all of them by Kate. name. <laughs> um, yep. And see, our bonus has increased to 65 because we have more inmates. So no deaths, no fights, no escapes. It's pr it scales. Um, there we go. Growing business. A staff hey. count of 30. Um, but if we go. Nope, we haven't. Yeah, 21 out of 25 inmates scanned. We're almost there with that one. And it should go faster now that we have metal detectors on every spot. Everywhere. Yes. <laughs> and so hopefully we have a stopgap to stop them from getting to the yard with any of the metal from the canteen or the kitchen. But even if that, they'll have a harder time getting it to their cell to hide it. Hopefully. Our tree is still a bit of a contraband. Um, but, but that's just that's out. just gonna be a little bit fun. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we've got Everett here. Here's his connections. A lot oh. of acquaintances. Because he's just he's met everybody. Very talkative fellow, I guess. Um, he's a little bit of a coward. We can see his needs. He really needs a shower. Um, he's up at two a.m. because he wants a shower. <laughs> Blake too. They're like, we've had enough sleep. Oh, no, Blake's like, never mind. I'll go to bed. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't need a shower. And that is something since we have them in the yard at the end of the day, we might be better off having them do shower instead of lockout now that we're seeing their needs. Oh, they instead do of doing shower in the morning, though. So that is true. Maybe they do need one more since they have all that wreck and uh, free time. Yes. And they do spend a lot of their free time outside because we don't have common rooms or programs yet or anything. So I may change this to like a uh, shower and then they go to their yard, to their um, cell. Which if we had a shower in every cell, they would shower during cell time and it wouldn't be an issue. But we don't. Put so... arch enemies in the same cell. <gasps> <laughs> That so might yeah, be like for, he's very frustrated. For future, for future streams. Uh, who knows? Well, look, he has two close friends. That's Bernard. so cute. Oh, Matthew. Oh, oh no. there we go. Matthew has an enemy of Gerber, his arch enemy. Negative Gerber's 77 as well. That's quite a lot. <laughs> They're not liking each other at all. <laughs> no, they hung out together 13 hours ago and decided they were arch enemies. These prisoners... Are a conflict risk. I mean, sometimes you just know that you don't like oh, someone. There they and go. That's okay. <laughs> there we go. They're going to shower. They've got the toilet. 
And they are splitting up fairly well between them. Oh, and to anyone worried, yes, they do take off their clothes to shower. That's, that's one big question I've seen, is, is there really nudity in this game? I mean, as much as you can consider our little uh, flower sack boys <laughs> um, people shaped, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them some privacy. <laughs> um, has there been any... We can have a little fight. There's not enough space for upcoming intake. Uh, that just means that it'll cancel because we have it here for eight to come in. We only have four slots open. Ah. So it warns us, but because I have overfill off, it's not going to send more than four. Nice. Uh, but there we go. We've scanned metal detectors. And so now we have a repeatable. So every 100 scans of an inmate with metal detector, we get another 300 XP and 600 cash, which that's a very passive way to keep getting XP coming in. Very nice. Um, com meal served is also a good one. That I think uh, that that's going to take a little bit longer to get all of the meals yes. out too. I mean, it depends also on how, how often you, you feed your well, inmates. We feed them <laughs> twice a day. There's 16, there'll be 20 inmates. So that'll be 40 a day. So it'll take like six days. Yeah. A week. Approximately. No, wait, in, in game, eight, not real nine, life. <laughs> ten. More like 10, 11 days, like two weeks. What am I thinking? I can't math on stream. <laughs> I, mathing on stream is like the hardest thing ever. <laughs> yes, I do agree with that. <laughs> um. So real quick, what should we take next in Ooh. preparation for our next stream? Should we go for shared cells? I think we should go for shared cells. All right. We'll Absolutely. go for shared cells. We have one more. Maybe we should get a staff room. Probably. I mean, our workers are working really hard. I feel like staff staff breaks. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. We can't they have them keep it. falling asleep. No. Though we could also come here for infrastructure and unlock our foreman. Um, and go for like speed builds. But we haven't. I think we're okay with that, actually. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with not rooms. having. Yeah. <laughs> let's get a staff room, which that did give us a, another uh, main contract and another one. Place four beds in a single cell. So we're going to have to build a large cell for four beds. Nice. Um, because we obviously cannot fit four beds in here. And in terms of new objects, we have bunk beds. <gasps> we also can go give our warden a couch. Yes. The leather chair. It looks He's really talking to somebody. Oh. Uh, he can have a water cooler for himself, too. It's a very oh. nice office, actually. Mm -hmm. We do also have vending machines, and this is one item that inmates can use to spend their money on. Um, and one thing that's cool about the water cooler is it does slightly satisfy hunger needs. So we can put a water cooler out here. And if they're getting a little peckish, they'll go get some water. Which can be useful for perhaps an inmate was kicking off and didn't eat all his food and he's a little peckish. Also something oh, that I had an issue with starting off. My inmates were very hungry because um, I didn't really know how to manage the, the management and the regime and when to let them actually go and eat. Uh <laughs> yes. Um... But there is there's a also lot of nice ways, like um, tutorials and stuff in this, if, you, if you're if you not used to this game. Yes. If you play the career mode, it starts off as a very, I would say, mild tutorial. Like, I, as I said, I've had over 1K hours in PA1, and I still had fun playing it. It wasn't a hand-holding tutorial. It was a, this, these, you're building, here's your job, build cells. And you can read all the tooltips if you need to. But if you don't need to, you don't need to. Yeah. Um, I'm removing this and making this one shower because I noticed that they were all preferring this shower <laughs> and not both showers. Mm. So also someone left the water running. Uh -oh. Shame on them. Don't they realize we're supposed to be a green prison here? It's a shame, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so there's our staff room, which is new. We'll build that next time because we've got, yes. what, four minutes? Yes. And, um, and then I'm going to connect these two. Boom. 
So now we have one giant shower. Yay! Uh, which sh they should be better about using now. And not clumping up on each other. <laughs> and they're all sitting here. And they're... Oh, he's the food a little looks recreation. very yummy. I mean, they eat the same food every day. It's like bangers and mash. I'm pretty sure. Because the Double Eleven is a British... Oh... Uh, Company. It looks like bangers and mash with maybe some peas. I'm not sure what the orange is. Maybe that's orange chicken. Maybe <laughs> with the bangers and mash. Yeah. That'd be an interesting combination. It's, but it is British food. So. It's probably beans, I would say. Um, but <laughs> They're too large to be beans, though. Like, considering the size of the other food. Yeah. Yeah, bangers and mash with mushy peas. But maybe the <laughs> other one's like candied corn or something. Ooh. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> um, no fork. No, they, they eat with their hands. Which is someone who is not any, like, not a dev. <laughs> I do find it funny, though, that if we go look at... What am I... Good lord, I'm blanking our contraband risks. Oh, infamy. <laughs> oh, one of our inmates is actually infamous! Uh-oh. Oh. Tucker here. He's got connections with everybody. And he's got Gerber's arrival. <laughs> wow, Tucker. What did he do? Uh, he's only got six more days. Tucker May, who is a 64-year-old male with no family. He's serving time in prison for vandalism. And he's infamous. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Destructive loyal and he's a first dater. He's just okay. having a good time. He's just vibing. I mean, he made Gerber his arch enemy as soon as he got in the prison. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you? I, no. I, I'm going to guess he spent his whole life and now he's suddenly in prison. He's like, okay, I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to have an arch enemy. I'm going to have a bunch of friends. I'm just going to live it up for eight, six days. Which is supposed to be equivalent to about six years. Oh. A day is about a year... If you want to view it that way. Mm, that's actually oh. a good <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh. But See? yes. Um, we are getting into the last minute. So I think we're going to yes. stop here until the next stream. That's going to be in two weeks time. Um, mm -hmm. Which is on. I just need my cheat sheet here to see what day that is. Uh, on April 4th. <laughs> um oh. Which will be the same time for Europeans. But if you're an American, it's actually an hour earlier. Ooh. Which is 7 a.m. Eastern time. <laughs> we might be looking at the streaming schedule to see if there's another time. But for now, yes. <laughs> for now, this is, this is the next time you have to look forward to seeing us streaming the game again. Um, and uh, what else do we have that's coming up? We have Discord live stages happening next week on uh, the 27th of May in the Discord, uh, the Fan Run Discord at 4, uh, 4, 4 16 uh, CET or 4 p.m. CET. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to yes. have a lot of links and Which stuff. is <laughs> 11 a.m. Uh, for... Mer for Americans on the East Coast, 11 a.m. <laughs> I had a total blank there. <laughs> uh, I, I think I was just sitting there at him doing yoga, and I was like, started to enter like a yoga break. <laughs> uh, and lastly, we also have a few giveaways. If you are checking out our Twitter and Facebook pages, uh, just tune in there and see uh, see what you can win. We're doing weekly giveaways of Prison Architect One until the release of Prison Architect Two. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Eleanor is working hard with getting all of the links for everything that we've said uh, later <laughs> into the into the chat. So really appreciate that. Um, yeah, do you have any any last words for this time? Um, uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Though next time we will be checking out shared cells. So if you're curious on how that goes, then we'll we'll tune see in. you then. Yeah, tune in then, and uh, yeah. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.